Hello and welcome to a video demonstration and tutorial of the new tunnel module available in Trimble Business Center version 4.10. This is a new module designed to work with advanced versions of TBC, as well as it's also designed to work with the Trimble Access Tunneling module. However, it can be used independently of Trimble field equipment or software. To begin, we'll introduce the layout and content of this series of videos. Part 1 will be an introduction to the tunnel and shape creation, as well as dealing with the rules of interpolation and working with multiple templates and shapes. In Part 2, we'll look at exporting our created tunnel design. Part 3 will deal with additional editing to our tunnel, such as adding offsets from the alignment, rotations, and setouts. In Part 4, we'll see how tunnel profiles and cross-sections integrate into existing TVC drafting. Part 5 will go over how to assign as-built points from Trimble Access Tunneling, as well as any other source, including point clouds. Finally, we'll see what sort of reports and deliverables can be generated from this as-built data. Before we get into the software, I want to go over some of the new tunnel terminology, objects, and hierarchy in TBC. If you're familiar with Trimble Access Tunneling, then much of this may be the same to you. In the Project Explorer, tunnel objects are organized under the Corridors heading. Multiple road or tunnel corridors can exist in a project under this heading. As you can see here, under the green corridor heading, we have our tunnel corridor. Each tunnel corridor is related to a single alignment. However, a tunnel corridor can consist of multiple tunnels that can share this single alignment. So for example, you can have an eastbound and westbound tunnel design in the same tunnel corridor if they share the same alignment. If you would need a different alignment for westbound and eastbound in this example, then you would need two separate corridors. Within the tunnel corridor, we have our tunnel. This will contain all the cross-section geometry and locations that we use to create the tunnel. As you can see, tunnels consist of multiple templates as well as one or more shape under each template. In the bottom image, we have an example of this relationship. We have the template, which consists of two shapes. These shapes can be further broken down into a series of straight and curved user-defined segments. Finally, we have template positions. This is where we assign our 2D geometry in the form of these shapes and templates to positions along the alignment to create a 3D tunnel. This completes our tunnel introductory video. Please see additional videos for a complete demonstration of the tunneling workflows.